so obviously I haven't got my own discount code for FM. I'm not that big yet. But I have spoken to Kev and his link is down in my description. You can get the game for £35.05 using code Lelujo at checkout. All the information is down in the description. FM25 is officially announced. In the heart of northern Italy lies a town steeped in footballing history. Welcome to Vercelli, home to one of the most storied clubs in Italian football, Pro Vercelli. Languishing in the lower leagues as its once glittering legacy faded into obscurity. But now, a new chapter is about to be written. A chapter of redemption, revival, and triumph. Get ready to witness the rebirth of a footballing legend. This is Football Manager 24, the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Hello and welcome to the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Since you were last with me, we've won a lot of games. Um, we went on to beat Manitoba 7-0 with Arden getting a hat-trick and Vinny getting four. Yeah, very good game. We then beat Manchester City 2-1 with Weidinger and Zhao getting our goals pretty back-to-back. -back. Yeah, and then they pulled one back towards the end, but it was all over by then. And then 3-2 in a bit of a scary game, to be honest. I thought that they were going to gonna come back and get... They were on top towards the end, and I really did believe we were going to end up throwing it away. But Profundi, Caput, and an own goal saw us 3-2 winners. Then against Regina, we won 2-1 with Arden and Urkel. Again, quite a comfortable game, really. Then we bookended Feyenoord 2-1 with a first-minute goal from Zhao and a 95th-minute goal from Bondhouse. They scored in the 74th. I thought we were destined to draw that. And then Roma 2-1, Urkel and Vinny, fairly comfortable. They scored the 75th minute. But we are letting in goals, which is a little bit worrying. Today we've got Milan and Torino in the league. And the league stands like this. We are top of the table by 10 points with a game in hand over Napoli. And third in the Champions League now. I think we're pretty much guaranteed to get through in the top eight. I say that, but the teams we've got left to play, we should do. But the team to face Milan today is Darude in goal, Alejandro, Ahain, Eli and Keone at the back, Hoven Urkel in midfield, with Capello, Vinny, Beaky behind Arden up top. We are still rotating the team around. And while we're waiting for this to start, so say all of us. Lovely cup of coffee, first thing in the morning. So yeah, I'm recording this, today's video on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to try and get a little bit ahead so that Monday, I'll have already uploaded mon before Monday, I want to get so Friday, I want to get Monday's video done and uploaded um, so that then when the... That's sending off, that is. So that when the uh, game next part is announced, we can uh, jump straight on that, record a video, which will come out as soon as it's done. Um for Monday for the women's game and I'll probably do the thumbnail this week as well for that video 
um, and we'll go through it together as always. I'll give you my views. Whether or not you feel the same is up to you, but I do enjoy it. Hopefully we've had a few new people watching today from the news drop. Um, the goal's been disallowed, unfortunately. Um, yeah, because I've seen a lot of bad, bad things. People looking a bit upset, but it. the thing is, every year they just announce the game. They don't announce any features with the game. The features come the week after, the week after, the, as they are this time. You know, the only difference is we're a week behind because the game's coming out three weeks later. And people talking about, oh, it doesn't say anything about the beta. Doesn't say this, doesn't say that. But I still believe that there will be a beta. I think the issue is Miles doesn't want every who's for those that don't know Miles is the head of um like S SI um football manager um development he probably doesn't want the 101,000 emails from Wang baskets going when's the beta out when's the beta out when's the beta out so he's probably delayed it, like announcing it. I imagine there still will be one. I'll be shocked if there's not, especially considering they're going on to a new match, like a new, sorry, a new match engine, a new game engine with Unity. Um, yeah, I'll be shocked if there's not. And we're 2 nil down. Not good. Um, but hey we'll see what happens um but yeah i just i don't understand why everyone's in uproar when we're getting things over the next few weeks or so but some people are upset because they've talked about what's not going to be in the game thing is by telling us now what's not in the game they get rid of the bad news, and now from next Monday onwards, we're just going to have what's in the game, good news, things to look forward to. It's strategically the right move. You know, you slowly build hype. You don't want to get to the final weeks before like a week or two before the game's released and go oh by the way we haven't got international management we haven't got team shouts and we haven't got um social media you don't want that so i, I don't understand why people are so negative personally um Obviously, I'll get the game regardless, but we will see. But yeah, if you do want the game, as I said in the intro, down in the description, use code LELUJO at checkout and you'll get a further discount. So I think it's a further 10 percent so it goes down anyway to 35 pound and five pence last time i checked um obviously if you want to wait i will be losing this game considerably um if you want to wait i understand um as i say i will be doing videos on it so um any questions and things when it's out you can ask me um if you just want to see what it looks like continue watching and you will um but as far as this game goes wow i'm going to make some changes sorry there's someone shouting outside my window if you can hear that um Kaput's coming on. 
Vinny can stay on, actually. Um, advanced Ford. Advanced Ford. You can do that. Right, let's go. Oh, I wanted to... Let's edit this quickly. Uh... Be more direct with the passing as well. We need to get goals now. If we're going to stand any chance. Okay, while this highlight's going on, we're going attacking as well. That's 5 nil. Wow. De Santos makes it five, and you know what? Giroud is having one of the worst games from a keeper. I'm bringing on a slightly injured Zeidler because he can't be worse than Giroud. His kaput, Arten, Visa, Vin Visa, Vinny. Come on. Alejandro's having an incredibly poor game as well. So, uh, you know, can come on. And I think both are rude. This is Dresler in goal. Cabot! Oh, my days. Who is our goalkeeper? So why they oh, I must have let them? Vinny's having a terrible game as well. That was incredibly poor. Um, you know what? Absolute shambles. I don't care if they're annoyed at that. I threw the water bottle. I meant every part of it. Capello set for a pay increase after being sent off. Join me for the Torino game where there'll be there'll be cuts. Trust me. So here we are after that very disappointing first game for the game against Torino. And as promised, we have changes. Um We've brought in Zeidler in goal, Mino, Caruso, Andre and Miranda at the back. Lala, Nero in midfield with Bondhouse, Zhao and Pafundi behind Arden up top. So the only player that has survived that last game was Arden up top. Everybody else has been replaced because I was that annoyed and... They deserve to be punished for it by not playing the next game from the start. Chances are they'll come on if this ends badly, but hopefully it won't. As we have an early free kick with Pafundi. And it's just wide from Fundi. As he is, oh, I think he, pr no, I'm going to say, is he, he should be, I think, our only real player in this team, like first team, because in our reserve squad, we do have Van Persie. Oh, what a goal from Fundy, Pafundi. Fundy smashes it home to make it 1-0. And that, boys and girls, is why sometimes just saying, you're all rubbish, I'm going to replace you all, is best for business. Well, best for football manager. Um, But we will see. Ooh. 
Also, I've found that if there's a level of rotation, but if you're constantly rotating, then I do feel like you have better run. You don't get that lapse from the same tactic because people don't know what players you're going to play in each role. So it makes a difference, I think. Oh, should have put it away there. But yeah, you don't seem to have that, you know, losing streak you often get when you're using the same tactic all the time. You often get that sort of losing mentality. And Arden's just run in, stolen the ball off Altet. Poor, poor distribution, though. Look at this. Mycial plays it out, and they just weren't watching. And Arden comes in, says, thank you very much, and puts it into an open goal. And, yeah, this Torino side are pretty low on the totem pole, though. So you kind of half expect them to not quite be there. And, oh, almost getting a goal. I apologise for that. I just moved the mic. Almost getting that goal. Let's push on. There's no point in making any changes just yet. Mineiro seems to not be aggressive or anything, so we don't need to bring him off. Uh-oh. Off. It's like the first challenge wasn't risky enough. We had to do it again. Why do we do it to ourselves at the moment? Comfortable, and now we're going letting a goal, and my heart will go through the roof. Oh, luck at Zeidler. Get in there, Zeidler. It was a poor penalty, but Zeidler putting in home, and now both wing backs are on yellow cards. They're both going to come off. Um, we're going to bring on Fafana. On the right, and we've only got Alejandro to come on on the left, unfortunately. Um, Zhao's not having the best game either. But he is going to stay on. We've got Masura, who could come on for him. Oh, Nero's just smashed the ball home. From centre to mid. To make it 3-0. And we were worried about them scoring. And it becoming quite an even game. And we've just buried it. So. Oh, the, the changing of the guard for this game. Has actually worked really well. And we've just. Started dominating again, which is always lovely. Lovely to do, you know, after a loss. And although it was a weird loss, we were down to 10 men, and it's the first loss of the season. First time we dropped points in the league, and we happened to drop three. Is Fundy. Arden, Arden, pushes it home. Superb play, and that is us playing like champions we are. And, yeah, it looks as though the league is pretty much rounded off already. Only halfway through it, but we are just absolutely dominating it. And I don't think things will change. Is Nero. Arden. Arden puts it home. Past my seal. 
to make it 5 nil. Here we go. It's time to wrap up this game, and we do so. They've played well. I'm going to tell them they've played well. And this team may actually get the semi-final game as well, potentially. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, with all of that happening, I think we will be back for... Genk and Frizzone in tomorrow's episode. So we'll play the last Champions League game in Frizzone in the league. And then it will be down to the knockout stage of the Champions League, we would expect. But if you've enjoyed that, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I've been the Masked Manager. And until next time, I have spoken. <laughs>